Hi everybody, welcome to Netex channel. In the previous video, you saw how to use a small alphanumeric LCD display with Netex. Today I will explain how you can use the same LCD to display the Netex terminal. To do that, first we need to watch the previous video explain how to do that. And then let's get started. Open the Linux terminal. Enter inside Nurex space, Nurex. Uh, now we don't don't will execute make this clean because we don't want to clear the previous configuration. For example, if I run LS here, you can see we have the the binary, the firmware, and so on. We just need to execute make menu config. and go to application configuration nsh library console configuration and select alternative console device as you can see it is configured to default uh, nurex console uh, you can modify it manually if you want but there is an easy way to do that so exit 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 again enter inside device drivers lcd driver support alphanumeric lcd device and just select slcd console output enable it exit exit again exit again enter inside application configuration NSH library, console configuration, and as you can see, the std out and the std error is already configured to slcd0. And the std in, the input, will stay in the console. So you need to use the minicon to enter with test in the terminal. Okay, exit, exit again, and finally exit and save. Now execute make to compile the source code. Okay, the source code was compiled correctly. Uh, now we can run minicon, reset board. As you can see, the nutshell didn't appear in the minicon, but it appeared in the display. So if you type ls, it's not appear in the minicon, but it appears in the display. Press enter. Okay. So we have two directories. Uh, enter inside the proc, cd proc, execute ls again, there's some files there, and the last is uptime, so if you get uptime, you see how many seconds the board is powered on. So basically that is it. I hope you had enjoyed this video. If you are not subscribed to Nerdx channel yet, please subscribe and click in the bell icon to receive notifications when I post a new video. See you. Bye bye.